In this video we're going to take a look at the home tab and the number area on the ribbon here. This is for formatting numbers. And the bottom part of the number group is uh, for some common things that you'd want to do with numbers. Uh, format them with a currency symbol, which in the United States is a dollar sign. Uh, format fractions as percents. Uh, add a comma in two decimal places. Uh, decrease, I'm sorry, increase or decrease uh, the number of decimal places. So I've got some numbers selected over here. Let's just take a look at how these work. Let's click on the dollar sign and that's called the accounting number format. And something interesting happened over here in column B and that is I got pound signs. Now the pound signs are what appear if the column is not wide enough. Rather than show you part of the number, it doesn't show you anything at all. So whenever you see pound signs, all you got to do is go up here to the top and widen the column. I'm going to get my two-headed arrow and double-click to make it just as wide as it needs to be. And there we go. Uh, so that's the accounting format. Uh, it gives you two decimal places, um, a dollar sign that's left aligned in the cell, and a comma in numbers that are a thousand or larger. Um, over here, I've got some numbers. These are labeled percents, but Right now, they're just formatted as ordinary uh, decimal fractions. Uh, if I click on the percent button here, it converts those into percents. The value is the same. It just displays them differently. And if I want to increase the number of decimal places, every time I click on this, it'll increase by one. And whoops, get too big. Let's go back the other way. And we'll go back to zero decimal places on these. OK. Uh, there's another option here that I skipped over, and that's the comma button here. And uh, that will, basically it's the same as the accounting style except for the dollar signs. It gives you a decimal point in two decimal places. It gives you a comma in numbers that are a thousand or more. Uh, just no dollar sign. So those are some of the basics. Uh, if you want more than that, there's a drop down list up here. Uh, number here is just about the same thing as clicking on the comma button. It gives you a decimal point in two decimal places, uh, but no comma. Currency is almost the same as accounting, except it has a floating dollar sign that floats right up to the edge of the number, rather than left aligning it and sticking over to here on the left edge of the cell. Um, here's accounting. Just slides the dollar sign back over. And actually, there's another small difference there that uh, you may have noticed. Um, with currency, the number is right aligned in the cell. With accounting, uh, it puts a little extra gap in there. Uh, we've also got some options for dates. I don't have any dates, but let's put a date in here. Uh, let's put in January 1st, 2000. And uh, it's format as a date right now. We can do short date, which is what I've got right now. Uh, we can do long date which gives you the day, the month, uh, the number for the day, and the year. And let's go back to short date here. And notice it widened my column for me. Let's uh, double click here and make that narrow again. Um, we've also got uh, times. Excel uh, handles times. Let's type in uh, 1 p.m. and we'll talk more about dates and times later. Notice that the date and the time are both right aligned, which tells you that they're numbers. Um, so let's look at some options for uh, time. Uh, the default there is to give me hours, minutes, and even the number of seconds. Um, percentage, let's go back to our percents here and see what the percentage button does for us. Gives us two extra decimal places. If we don't like those, we can go up here and decrease them. Um, fractions, you're probably not going to do fractions very often, and you're probably not going to do scientific notation very often. Uh, if you choose to represent something as text, uh, it left aligns it. Uh, there's still numbers, uh, but it left aligns the number in the cell. And uh, I don't think you're going to use that one very often either. Let's go back to our uh, percentage here, and then we will decrease the number of decimal places. And if you want even more control, you can click on the dialog box launcher and you can get the format cells dialog box and the number tab here. And every time you click on an option on the left, you get some choices over here on the right. If you want negative numbers, 
Um, you can represent them with a minus sign. You can put them in red, or you can put parentheses around them, or you can do red and parentheses both. Uh, if you want a comma, you can put the comma in here. You can control the number of decimal places. Uh, currency gives you the same options. Accounting uh, gives you some of the same options. Uh, date, a whole bunch of choices here for date. Time is the same way. We got quite a few choices for time. You can do uh, 12 hour time or 24 hour time. Uh, percents, uh, just let you determine the decimal places and we will skip over the other ones. You can do some interesting things here. Uh, special is for uh, zip codes, phone numbers, and social security numbers. There's also a custom thing here that we're not going to talk about right now, uh, but lets you basically uh, select your own format for formatting cells. And that's pretty much, whoops, I didn't mean to choose special there. Let's go back and click on percent. There we go. And that pretty much is everything you need to know about the number group here on